Hello Pisces, welcome to your full moon reading. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and the full moon in Scorpio. Pink super moon is going to be um, a beautiful energy of transformation that is going to be helping with the healing process over the next few weeks. I do feel like there's a lot of focus on body care and uh, time in nature for you, Pisces. Really synchronistic energy. And um, I also heard to expect miracles. So that was really nice. Just a reminder, this is a general reading. It is, a, you know, not going to resonate with every Pisces. And Tarot and Oracle is for inspiration. It's for guidance. It's for entertainment most importantly to remember that you have the power so let's get started remember your dreams I do feel like you've been in contemplation, reflection, and you're doing exactly that, reconnecting with what's important to you and remembering, you know, you can ask the universe. Never give in. Never give in on your dreams, Pisces. Let's draw a message here from Spirit. If you have a question, hold it in your heart, in your mind's eye. And then we'll get into the Passion Tarot truth and integrity you are absolutely aligning to who you are look for a sign and communicate clearly uh-huh okay let's get into your tarot here this is a love reading for pisces it's a new beginning in love very passionate eight of swords this is a new beginning that feels like, okay, look at this. You've absolutely been in reflection, um, contemplating your dreams with the hermit card here. It's like you've recognized a situation for what it is. And, you know, I, I feel like this is, you know, seeing um, a reflection, you know, a reflection or seeing your dreams. Um, it's been like a time of solitude. And very much recognizing, pondering, you know, what's important to you. Um, the truth of a matter is what I'm hearing. Eight of Swords is a new beginning. It's sort of like you see the devil here, you know, off in the background because he's disappearing. You know, it's, he holds no power in the situation anymore. It's like the sword here with the Eight of Swords cuts free any, you know, uh, addiction or restraint that's been holding you back from these beautiful, this beautiful new beginning. Um, it's very relaxed. You know, it's not a, you know how sometimes new beginnings can be a little daunting, you know, you feel a bit maybe out of element. It's not like that. It's very relaxed, very much like in flow and just sort of like you've done it. It's like you, it's like that sense of conquering, you know, with that, with that eight of swords here. So your person says a new, new beginning. Look at this, the full card. Uh, double confirmation here it's like you've you've contemplated you've seen a situation for what it is and you've made a decision you're moving forward and you're absolutely taking that leap of faith this really is an exciting new beginning for you pisces and you're absolutely being supported mind body and soul mind body and soul healing this is working on a situation self-care connection um this is very much a love connection that is just you know it runs deep it's on all levels here and there's a lot of love a lot of passion the queen of wands you know pisces your person absolutely loves like every little thing you do it's like they can't keep their eyes off you you know they just adore you know the things like watching you get dressed for the morning or you know what are you going to be wearing or you know it's like that sort of love where it's like you have this real you know romance for life itself you know just enjoying life together that is so beautiful this is such a free-flowing energy pisces makes me so happy for you it's like this is attraction and fondness you know um yeah there's really like <laughs> six of swords wow okay so the obstacle is like there's no obstacle the only obstacle here is putting swords to the side and the six of swords is like you know from the five of swords where maybe there was a quarrel or you know maybe there was um a disagreement the six of swords is the next card where it's like they put the swords down they put them to the side here and they're just like you know what let's just enjoy the moment the rest of the world's out here the rest of the world doesn't matter it's just you two pisces that's blooming gorgeous let's draw a message here from your person to see what they have to say about all of this 
I dream of starting all over again with you. So they too, you know, Pisces, they're just like, I want to put down my sword. You know, I want to start all over again here. I'm trying to move on and it's heartbreaking. You know, your person's are like, they're trying to, you know, go with this new beginning. And I feel like they're just like walking this way, but their heart is still here, you know, with you, Pisces. And so they're just like, they're, you know, finding it difficult. I feel jealous at the thought of you with someone else. Yeah. You know, your person might be checking like your social media, like seeing, you know, are you, you know, do they have a competition? Have you moved on? I'm just loving this, like the eight, the infinite, you know, it's like you have, this is a divine counterpart, divine masculine, divine feminine. And honestly, I saw this study recently where it's like jealousy. It's natural. Sometimes we really beat ourselves up about it, but jealousy is actually a sign of love. It's just that we have to learn to channel that energy in a productive and mature way. But jealousy in, you know, generally they say people that are in love can get jealous about even, you know, really small, unimportant things. <laughs> And I regret how I treated you. Yeah, I feel like there's someone here that's sort of looking back and they just sort of like, why? You know, and I think this is the quarrel that happened with, you know, that possible five of swords moment before the six of swords shows up. It's like, they're like, why did I draw my sword out with Pisces? You know, why did I do that? And we are together in another timeline. So your person sees this connection for what it is, Pisces. They absolutely do. You know, this is, you know, a connection goes throughout time. It's on another timeline. You guys share memories together in past lifetimes or other timelines, you know, and it's like why they're finding it difficult to move on. I was scared because I care so much, right? I know it wasn't meant to be like this. Oh, yeah, you know, it feels like there's a little bit of heartache here. Um, let's get, let's get a message here. We're on a swiveling table with <laughs> two eyes. Manifesting miracles. Did I mention it at the start of the reading that I had felt like there was an, an energy of miracles? I can't remember if I mentioned it, but I absolutely did. And look at that, Pisces. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. That is what you are doing. You have taken time of solitude to listen to your heart, to recognize what it is that you dream of, that you want, that lights up your heart, you know, and you're following that. You're taking this new journey. You're like, it's like putting the past behind you in following like what is really for you what lights up your heart look at this i'm going to place that right there so beautiful trust your heart pisces and continue to follow its guidance let's get one final card here from the tarot and a message from your person oh my goodness the three of wands this is so beautiful. So definitely this is a, you know, a loving connection. It feels really balanced actually is what I'm getting as well. Um, it's like good partnership, you know, cooperation, it's success, it's kindness. It's like, how was your day, darling? Good. How was good? How was your, you know, it's like, it's that sort of thing, you know, both independent people here. And there we go. The King of Chalices. Amazing. So again, you know, this is feeling abundant, feeling in your power, um, you know, being very um, wise and balanced, you know, with your love, being very generous. It feels like there's a lot of support around you as well, Pisces, which is really nice. Um, and a final message from your person. Oh, I drew from the wrong card deck. <laughs> I meant to draw from the, uh, but there you go the knave of swords so it feels like somebody's wanting to sort of come in with an offer here um i do get the sense that somebody is thinking about you know with all of this sword energy um it's sort of like uh it's also like a sense of being strong you know bravery standing in your strength pisces and the following intuition with the star card you really you know they see you as the star it's like you light up their world you know and it feels like you guys are really cosmically connected is is what this is okay where did the passion deck go that's where i was went. okay here it is pisces I don't want to lose this connection, yeah. They recognize for what it is, you know, and they feel very drawn to you. Um, 
So there you go, Pisces. Believe in miracles. Believe in your dreams and the power of your beautiful, sacred heart. Wishing you all the love and light, Pisces. Have a beautiful, blessed now. Remember to check that subscribe and thumbs up. And I look forward to your next highest timeline reading here on Crystal Communications.